My name is Mohsen from Solitech. Today I'm going to talk about detached drawings. What are they and where we could use them? If you open a normal drawing, uh, the part or assembly of that drawing will be also loaded to the memory. We could see those uh, references uh, from fine references of that drawing. In a detached drawings, the drawings are detached from references. So it means that we could work on the drawings without loading uh, the, the part or assembly of that drawings. But what is the usage of that? Let's say that you have a situation that you want to send only the drawings to your colleague. You want to email only the drawing without sending the part or assembly of that drawings. So if you do that, and when your uh, colleague receives that that file, when when he tries to open it, if it looks like this, and the reason is that because he could not find actually the the, the part or assembly of that drawings because you you could you didn't send them. So in a situation like this, you could use the detached drawings. So if you convert these normal drawings to detached drawings, which could be easily be done by using the save as command using the detached drawings and notice that it has the same extension as the normal drawings so if i just save that save this and close it and open it again you could notice the small uh, broken link which shows that uh, the drawings in a detached mode so now if you send this detached drawings to your colleague they won't need the part or assembly of this drawing and they could open it work uh, and everything will be fine so this could be the main actually reason we could use the detached drawings but this is not the only reason because as we said the detached drawings are independent on the assembly or part of that drawings, a different member of a team could work independently on the drawings and also on the part file. So, for example, let's say I could add a dimension here and also uh, let's change this diameter to 20. Oops. As we could see that that changes to that diameter is not been reflected to this uh, drawing yet because it is in a detach detach mode. So if I save this, if I just close it, now if I open it again, I will be notified that this drawing out of date is out of date because actually the part has been changed. So it's a very good point that even the drawings in a detached mode still we will be notified about any changes of that uh, part or assembly and it's a very good thing. So now if if you want to synchronize actually those changes to these drawings, simply right click on one of the drawings and click on the load mode model. It will say that loading the model may be lengthy operation. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. And now the changes uh, from uh, the, the part is reflected to this drawing. Now, if I save this, if I close it and open it again, we could notice that it is uh, in a detached mode. So it means that as long as I won't uh, convert the detached drawing to the normal drawings, it will stay in a, in a detached mode. And another reason that we could use these detached drawings is that the time required to open a detached drawing is reduced dramatically as the model files are not loaded. 
So it could be a very good practice in large assembly drawings and we could save times by using these detached drawings. And finally, if we want to convert this uh, detached drawing to normal drawings, it could be easily be done by using the save as command, using the normal drawings and save as. It will ask again, the loading might be a lengthy operation. Do you want to continue? Yes, I want to continue. And if I just close it and open it again, now we could see that there is no uh, broken link, so it means that it is in a normal uh, drawings uh, mode. Uh, so today we learn about uh, what is what are the uh, detached drawings and what is the application of using them. I hope that uh, you find this blog useful. Thanks. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please check out our channel or the links on the screen. Don't forget to subscribe to receive updates on our recent videos.